you realise it wasn't for me because I realised I couldn't put any input in. I couldn't, you know, give my opinion on this or that because it didn't fit the grain of, of what we were. It looks like people are really over the Haley and Selena drama because they've got more interesting news to talk about. Selena and Zayn are slowly making their relationship more public these days, but not everyone is actually happy for them, especially Zayn's ex, Gigi Hadid. There were people saying that this romance had long been brewing and it's only now that they had a real shot at this chance. But if they're really going to take this to the next level, then they would be one of the most perfect and supportive relationships in the industry. I bet that they would look so good together since the spark has always been there ever since the first few interactions they had when they were still younger. If you had to pick, who would you pick for a kiss? Oh no. Zane? <laughs> Maybe, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> there was no hesitation there. But his feelings for Selena is not the only thing that he recently talked about. He also revealed about how Gigi and her family have been trying so hard to take away the things that are making him happy at the moment. Now he's ready to talk about his past in order to protect his present. Obviously, this thing with Selena is going well because he does not want Gigi or any other person to stop him from getting to know Selgo better. Rumor has it that Zayn is more comfortable with his new significant other compared to his last partner. We know that Gigi and Zayn did not end in a very good way. Even though they're now casual and are co-parenting their daughter, a lot of people are still hating on Yolanda and Gigi as well for doing Zayn dirty. For those of you who do not have any idea about what happened to this iconic couple, then it was because of Zayn and Yolanda, Gigi's mom got into a heated fight. The reason behind it? Yolanda uploaded a photo where she was showing baby Kai's face. We all know how protective Gigi and Zayn were when it comes to their daughter. They have tried so hard to hide the baby's face from the paparazzi as they want to give her as much privacy even though both parents are very popular individuals. But look at what Yolanda did though. I'm sure there's many people that get to moments where you just go like, you throw your hands up in the air and go like, I've tried everything. Not only that, but they accused Zayn of shoving Yolanda during this fight which resulted in Zayn serving 360 days of probation. But before we get deeper into the video, if you love Zayn Malik and want to see him happy and in love once again, then make sure they subscribe to our channel right away. I will always keep you posted about the latest happenings in their lives and more. Malik denied it, and a lot of people actually defended him against the Hadiths. Many fans also exposed Yolanda and her problematic behavior towards her own kids. People also speculated that she never really liked Zayn for Gigi, and by the looks of it, she was not the only Hadid who cannot accept Zayn in the family. As reported by TMZ, the squabble happened in September of 2021. Zayn was alone with his daughter, and there were multiple sources that said that Yolanda just barged in the house without notifying Zayn beforehand. She didn't even knock. Zayn felt disrespected in his own home and he apparently tried to communicate to Yolanda about how he felt but as a shady and difficult person that she is, insiders claimed that she wasn't having it. Imagine the regret that Zayn felt to get entangled with such a family. Right now I feel like I have the time to process things and I'm doing things you know in my own space and place and it's cool and it's enjoyable and my Fans are supporting me through it. Additionally, according to the court documents, Zayn was charged with four criminal offenses of harassment against Gigi and Yolanda for allegedly shoving Yolanda into a dresser and causing her mental anguish and physical pain. It was also stated in these documents that Zayn made a call to Gigi while the altercation was happening and allegedly told her, Stop on some F balls and defend your partner against your F mother in my house. Gigi, her daughter, is dating Zayn Malik. <laughs> Let's find out what they did for the holidays. What'd they do? We, uh, we build gingerbread. After that, Zayn had spoken out through an Instagram post. He wrote, As most of you know, I am a private person and I very much want to create a safe space for my daughter to grow up in. A place where private family matters are enthroned on the world stage for all to poke and pick apart. In an effort to protect that space for her, I agreed to not contest claims arising from arguments I had with a family member of my partner's who entered our home while my partner was away several weeks ago. This was and still should be a private matter, but it seems for now there is divisiveness and despite my efforts to restore us to a peaceful family environment that will allow for me to co-parent my daughter in a manner which she deserves, this has been leaked to the press. I am hopeful though for healing for all involved with the harsh words shared and more importantly, I remain vigilant to protect Kai and give her the privacy she deserves. 
I know that was a long pose, but you can really feel Zayn's sincerity in that one. Fans were actually so disappointed with Gigi that time. For sure, the situation was hard for her as well, but things like that could have been prevented especially if family members, especially her mom, knew her boundaries. All the Hadids unfollowed Zayn on Instagram. I mean, seriously? Bella has also been throwing shade at Zayn before the fight between him and Yolanda. In fact, Zayn got into a different intense fight before with one of Bella Hadid's best friends, Daniel. In a clip that circulated online, Daniel was throwing a lot of racial slurs towards Zayn. Actually, this could be one of the reasons why Yolanda does not like Zayn in the first place, because of her racism. It must have been hard for Zayn, and if he really had an outburst, then he sure tried to hold back all the words for a very long time since Yolanda was not that open to discuss things with him anyway. Anyway, back to Bella's friend, Daniel. People immediately think that he was so confident to act that way because he has been seeing the Hadid family also mistreating Zayn. Whatever the cause of that argument was, it still does not give him the right to insult Zayn the way he did. It was so obvious that they had a problem with his race. Dude, what year is this and why are some people still trying to live backwards? Now, I bet that you can imagine all the unfair words and actions that they have shown Zayn, but since the dating rumors about Zayn and Selena started, it looks like Selena is the new target for all this hate coming from the Hadid family. You guys, this is getting juicier because many of you might find it weird that Cell is dating her friend's ex. Yes, Cell and Gigi are friends and both have a tight friendship with Taylor Swift. These elite people circle is so small that everyone has already interacted with each other. Do you think Gigi hates Selena Gomez now? What do you think is Taylor's take in all of this? I would love to know your thoughts, so comment them down below. In the hopes to protect Selena from the hate that will come from Gigi supporters, Selena's fans did some digging and speculated that when Justin and Selena were still together, Gigi and Kendall intentionally invited Selena to go with them in Dubai just so Hailey could get the chance to bond with Justin and steal him away from Selena. If that is true, then you would know that they, especially Kendall and Hailey, have been trying to shade Selena for years already. Their supposed betrayal must have also been the reason why Selena finally decided to stop being friends with both Kendall and Gigi. But she kept on being involved with the Hadid sisters because she was also linked to Bella's ex, The Weeknd. Obviously, Bella was not happy about it as she still has lingering feelings towards Abel. Since then, Bella has shown her mean side to Selena. In the midst of all the news about Cell and The Weeknd, Bella posted a picture of her and Selena commented, stunning. She was so petty for deleting that post after Selena commented that. So my name, my name is Bella Hadid. Selena saw a post from someone who explained what Bella did and Selena left a comment saying, that sucks. People did not let this attitude slide and called Bella out for being petty right away. And when Bella was getting hated online for supposedly being mean to Salgo, Selena defended her by commenting on a fan's post and saying, No, I shouldn't have spoken without knowing the truth. I'm sorry. Please don't be hurtful. She's a wonderful person and it was all a misunderstanding. You see, at least Selena knows how to admit to her mistakes. She was always trying to fix the mess that these mean girls are starting. I swear, these models are friends for a reason and that is because they embody each other's toxicity. Selena continued to be nice towards her and even shared a photo of Bella on her own Instagram account. But Bella was probably still bitter when Cell did that, so she ignored all her efforts and nice gestures towards her. Now, this is something that Zayn and Selena might be talking about whenever they are on a date. But they got a lot of other, more beautiful things to discuss since they can relate about a lot of topics as well. People were not able to contain their excitement, especially when Zayn and Selena followed each other on Instagram. They have known each other for years and have had a little crush towards one another as well. So if this blossomed into something more serious, a lot of people would cheer for them. Sure, there will be some that would not be happy for this duo, but there will be more people that will appreciate and protect this tandem from the haters and trolls. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out these videos.